Right, this is the one take bender assembly video that I've been trying to get done for a month. Um, so this is what you get in your bender kit. So you have the body of the bender, which can have a top connector or a side connector. This is the top variant. You have your battery case. Um, this one has the switch included, but there is a, another which doesn't have a switch included, which just looks like that instead. Um, you have your SMA connector for connecting your main antenna. Um, your back, your front, your hex tool for tightening the nut on the SMA connector and if you order the one with the switch you get a little tiny button that goes on the front. Right so first step is generally best to put the SMA connector in so undo your nut and take your washers off and try not to drop them. Now the, the, the top connector one um, you need to bend it in slightly so it's best to go in through the back and then tilt it that way and push it up and the nut on the back of the SMA connector is captive so you'll see it slots into a hex shaped recess and that stops it from spinning when you tighten the nut so then you want to get your washers uh, I generally put the spring washer on first on and then your nut, give it a spin and then get your SMA hex tool, put that on and then tighten it, it doesn't have to go too tight, if you go too tight it'll, it will break the, uh, it will break the, the little tool. But that's that installed, now what you want to do is you want to pass that cable back through the front so it's in position. Uh, now you can take your battery box and you want this red cable, uh, the positive end, to this end of the bender and pass it through. And this is where you have to jiggle the wires a little bit. These through. So you've got the, the power connector for the board goes to this end. The switch, if you've got a switch, goes to this end. Get that seated in, and now you want to grab your Haltech, which you've purchased elsewhere, of course, and you want to get your little power connector. Switch round here, and now I'm having to do this whilst looking through a camera lens. So what you want is it's the red wire. Come on, focus. It's the red wire to this side. And you want to get this in here. It's not easy doing this while looking through a camera lens is the problem. So I'm probably going to peek around the side. Here we go. Get in. There you go. So that's in. And you want to flip around. Now, seat in the actual card, the board. Some people have had problems with, but it's actually dead simple. So what you want to do is... You want to get the USB port properly aligned, so you get it, again I'm doing it through a camera lens, so it's better if I look through, but if you get the USB port properly aligned, and when you look in, you'll see it smack bang in the middle, and then it should just dead easy pop in. So, sometimes you have to give it a little nudge in this top corner, but it's normally fine. Right, now it's the SMA IPEX connector rather on the board. Now these are a little fiddly and delicate. I'm definitely going to have to peek around the side and what can sometimes help is if you have a little pair of pliers to give it a nudge uh, to get it on because they they do take a bit of pressure to pop on. Oh, oh and mine pops on nice and easy. So there you go. So then that's in. And then as your battery box is going to fall out the back whilst you're filming. Um, and then we've got our, our on this one because this one's one with a switch. We need to put our button button slash switch into the front. So what I do is I leave plenty of cable. So this is uh, quite easy to do. Now the on position for the switch is when the switch is moved towards the two cables. So if you remember that, you can um, you can decide which way you want your on and your off position to be. So I, I like the on to be towards this way. So I'm going to put it in this way. And then you just insert it and this is quite snug what you can do is you can put a bit of super glue around the edge here to uh, to make it stick in permanently but then that goes in 
and then you'll notice your, your little peg for your switch is now poking through. Now on the front of the button, I don't know if you're able to see it, there's a little circle. I use that to donate on. So I'm going to put it at this end to show that it's on at this end. Now it's worth noting that sometimes this hole can be a bit tight uh, and it's because the, the peg is square and sometimes the hole isn't square because of the printing process. So sometimes you can have to just put a little knife in and just tweak the corners to make it properly square and that'll make it easy to slide on. But you'll see once you, if you do that, it should just be a case of Again, I'm going to do this looking through a camera and press it on, ta-da. Then, to put the front on, it should just be a case of getting one end in. I tend to do that end first and then pop, clip on. And that is the front of the bender installed. Now, get your battery case in properly. Now, you just pop your battery in. Sorry, no, I'm wrong. You put your antenna on first, because you always install your antenna first. So put your antenna on, pop your battery in, and then the back cover just pops on. And that is it, your complete mender.